Hey guys, it's time for the most fucked up Instagram post of the week. Uh oh. The most fucked up Instagram post of the week. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, dude. Now this one is amazing. Okay, this is just a guy who is st- now picture this guy. He's standing near a no. He's I don't know if he's sitting or standing. It's a selfie, but he's videoing himself near a kangaroo. The kangaroo's in the background, just being a kangaroo. Okay, and it's a video. And the caption is pure amazement. So that's what this guy's... Now, this is what this guy is saying. I'm just going to play the video for you. And and he has got to be 100% high. If he's not, it's even better. Okay? This is what he says. Timothy Leary talks about these moments in which you experience afresh the hardly bearable ecstasy of direct energy exploding on our nerve endings. He's, of course, referring to a holy moment. Otto Rank's Mysterium Tremendum e Fascinosum. As Tim Duty wrote, during these moments of <laughs> in which we utter extaculations of amazement, we get to recontextualize the self as a marvelous conduit in a timeless whole from which molecules and meanings flow from neurons to nebula and back again we transcend the been there's and done that's of the adult mind we ah. awaken to our common ecstasy we and then it cuts off <laughs> <laughs> what a cock what a fucking cock utter extaculations Utter extaculations. Google extaculations. Extaculations. I mean, literally, your search extaculations did not match any documents. Have you ever Googled something that's never had results? What? A fucking half hard cock this guy is. Dude, this guy's gotten laid, you know? This guy has had a conversation in business. He's standing near a kangaroo. I mean, what is this guy saying? And he laughs like he's making a joke. Like he's like, <laughs> like he, like, yo, dude, what? Oh, we got to play again. Timothy Leary talks about these moments in which you experience afresh the hardly bearable ecstasy of direct energy exploding on our nerve endings. He's, of course, referring to a holy moment, Otto Rank's Mysterium Tremendum e Fascinosum. As Tim Duty wrote, during these moments of <laughs> in which we utter extaculations of amazement, <laughs> we get to recontextualize the self as a marvelous conduit in a timeless whole from which molecules and meanings flow from neurons to nebula and back again we transcend the been there's and done that's of the adult mind we awaken to our common ecstasy we it literally means nothing does that mean anything what does this guy think it means literally expecting extaculations and transcending the been there's and done that's and the have nots in the world uh, timothy uh, kaczynski wrote uh, Timothy Leary talks about these moments in which you experience afresh the hardly bearable ecstasy of direct energy exploding. Experience afresh the hardly direct energy. To a holy moment. This part. Ranks mysterium tremendum e fascinosum. As Auto ranks experience. It sounds so much like a robot right there. Auto ranks experience in the tremendiosum and the furious awesome. Experience afresh bearable ecstasy of direct energy exploding on our nerve endings he's of course referring to a holy moment anytime someone says of course like that he's of course referring to you're a fucking such a cock dude (laughs) extaculations of amazement have you guys ever experienced extaculations of amazement Timothy Leary 
Bowie talks about these moments in which you experience afresh the hardly bearable ecstasy of direct energy exploding on our nerve endings. He's, of course, referring to a holy moment. Otto Rank's Mysterium Tremendum e Fascinosum. As Tim Duty wrote, during these moments of <laughs> in which we utter extaculations of amazement. We- in which we utter extaculations of amazement. Let's see what else this guy says. And I'm having kind of an amazing moment. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hello, guys. I'm Natalia Tadic uh, from Colombia. Natalia's from Colombia, guys. And we were just having a conversation about uh, you find what you need to find in life when you need to find it, right? Whatever, oh. When you're looking for something and you need to hear it, it tends to show up. And That's right. Natalia was telling me that she discovered shots of awe during a time in her life when she was really kind of hungry for some kind of answer for something right yeah and definitely here I am. this guy smile dude what a fucking what is happening the psychogeography of everyday life i'm interested in psychodynamics i'm interested in how different places and spaces and people everything you have to take into account with your sensory apparatus informs your subject in other words, your experience has to take into account where you are and who you're with, right? You become what you behold, as McKenna said. We are the sum of the people that we'll spend the most amount of time with. But if we're interested in creating spaces for contemplative introspection, if we want to search the worlds within and without, we need to be craftsmen of our fate. We need to filter out the wrong crowd. We We need to customize our spaces and places to unfold. This is experience design. Take into account the psychodynamics of people and places and curate. I mean, I have extaculations of amazement right now. Dude, what is he saying? Just the way he's talking and just... We are just the lump sum of what of who we hang out with, right? So what is extaculating about this whole apparendium post-mortem podium is basically what, what... Okay, so what Galileo said was, we're all walking around and amongst us we have all, the external hard drive of the mind, so to speak. It's... What we do, we we plug into the extraterrestrial, uh, somewhat of a dark matter. Uh, I've been laid four times. That guy probably gets so much ipus pus, dude. I, I I could I, I here's the thing about me. I can listen to this guy all day and just be laughing and crying. And fucking loving it. Now, I know that a lot of you guys are like, all right, this guy, come on, man, don't. Fucking, come on, talk about other things. But how can I do that? (laughs) When there's this guy. How can I do that? Oh, this guy Fox. I like this guy. I like this guy. I actually like this guy. No irony. It's a great quote that says, when information is cheap, attention becomes expensive. And of course, in the age of social media, in the age of the internet, we are drowning in information. Every two days, we create more data than in all of human history up until that point. So information (laughs) is cheap. Therefore, attention has become expensive. The currency of our age is attention. Attention is the new oil. If you can retain eyeballs, if you can hold on to people's focal points or even a minute and a half you are 
golden. And so the question, of course, becomes how do we curate our attention span? How do we discern and mindfully apply this scarce resource? Because it is scarce of our own attention. How do we not let people hijack us? How do we put into practice a kind of curatorial mind? There's a great <laughs> and it cuts Why is he saying it like it's Shakespeare? Why is he saying it like he's in a... Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Oh, fuck. I got to hang out with this guy. Dude, here's the thing, man. This is why I like this guy. You have to be passionate, man. Oh, fuck. This guy's blowing my mind. Not in the way he thinks he's blowing my mind. This guy is walking down Runyon Canyon, which is a hiking place in Hollywood, doing these these videos. I mean, he's saying nonsense words. This guy, in a way... Oh, fuck, man. Like he said, to hold on to their focal point. And he... Th- the best part is he thinks it's funny and he's laughing. Dude, I I, I, I I can listen to this guy all day. God damn, and he's so passionate about this shit. I, I, oh my God. This guy rocks. He gets a follow. <laughs>